but we added a couple of new features to this project planner AI.com application. I want to kind of share with you what we added and how you can implement it yourself in code. I think you'll find these things pretty interesting. So one feature that we have is you can have multiple people collaborate on the same project, right? So we're kind of building this as a project management tool for smaller teams of like indie hackers, maybe like two or three people in a team. And we wanted to add in the ability to send messages. And one thing that was kind of preventing us from wanting to use the messages is that you don't have good notifications. And so we always just use Discord, right? So I'm gonna share with you when someone creates a new message on your project, I'm just gonna go to the Convex dashboard real quick. And I'm going to create a new document like this. And I'll just say hello test. One thing I want you to pay attention to is the fave icon up here. So when I create this document, notice that the fave icon now has a little red dot on it. So you might have seen this on the social media platform X where they also do this when you get like a new notification. And I wanted to kind of emulate that as well. So I'll show you the code for that. And basically when you click on this messages tab, it's gonna go ahead and mark all your new messages as red, and that little blue dot goes away, and also the red dot goes away in the fave icon. So it's a nice little polish that really makes the application a little bit more useful and usable. A second really cool feature is that now when messages come in and you're not necessarily like focused on the tab, but you may have the messages panel open, you'll actually get a notification about that message. So if I go over here and create another one, go like this, I'll go ahead and paste this in, and I'll just say like, hello world. Go ahead and save that. Notice that in the top right, if I go ahead and hide my face, you'll see a message that says, hello world. And we got the nice Mac OS alert that lets us know that, hey, like someone sent us a message. So this is something that you may wanna use in your own application. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how I set this up. So, so the first thing I'm gonna point out is in the layout, this is where like the top navigation is set up. And I have a listener for these notifications. And when this notification array were to change, for example, we add a new message or one of your teammates sends a message on your plan, this effect is gonna rerun. And the first thing you'll see that it does is it basically checks, hey, do you have any unread messages? And if you do, change the fave icon to a red icon with a dot. Otherwise, change it back to the default. Um, fave icon, right? So this is just a little bit of JavaScript that runs. It'll change the um, DOM elements directly. And that's how that's kind of implemented. Now for the second thing I want to show is if you go to the actual page that has the messages, we also have another effect that is listening for these messages to come in. So down here, you'll see there's a messages dependency inside of that a dependency area of use effect. And whenever that were to update, what we do is we basically use this notification API. This is built into many browsers and I request permission first of all, right? So if I were to go back and actually reset this permissions, I'm gonna share with you, it's gonna prompt you, hey, this wants to send you notifications, do you wanna allow it? And if a user were to press allow, that's going to basically have those alerts, you'll see my head's hiding it pop up, okay? So if the user does request permission, then we check if the result was granted. What we're gonna do is we basically just create a new notification object, and this is what causes my operating system to basically show that alert. Now I do think some browsers might not support this fully. And also I don't know why the image is not showing up. I thought you could customize it to have an image, but for some reason that's not working. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. But this is honestly the first time I've ever used this notification library that's built into the browser. So I thought it was pretty cool. And I wanted to share with you all how you could potentially do that if you're building out like a, you know, a social media type of application where people can send messages. Very interesting to implement. So for those of you who are interested in knowing how do I know if we have unread messages or not, Again, I'm using a convex query, but the same idea can apply to your application. You just need to send over a WebSocket event when something changes that you're interested in listening on. And so the way this works is I have a notifications table and I have a messages table. Okay, if we look at the schema for both of those, the notifications table um, looks like this and it has a type of notification. It has a last read at um, Unix timestamp. And so basically when you click on the top nav of that header, here, that writes to that table and says, hey, I read my messages at this particular timestamp, and that saves it in the table over here. Now for the messages, the messages basically, I say, grab me the first message um, ordered in descending order. So grab me the first one with the sending order, and that should give me the latest message that was sent. And I check, hey, if there is a message, and if the last read at timestamp is less than the current messages creation time, 
then we know that we have an unread message. So that's kind of how I'm doing it in this application. So if you wanted to do it yourself, this is kind of an approach that you can think about and maybe apply to your own web application. All right, that's all I really want to share in this video. I want to keep it short and sweet. So if you did enjoy this, leave me a comment. It helps my videos grow. Also, give me a, a thumbs up. And I also have a Discord channel you guys are welcome to join if you want to find a place to hang out and talk to some other developers. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.